And our word for today on this Friday of the seventh week of Easter, this Friday, May the 17th, our word, in fact, our words, actually, our question for today, do you love me? Do you love me? Taken from our gospel reading, we have this being asked of Peter by St. Paul, the Gospel of John, chapter 21. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, He said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying but what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. Do you love me? Peter, if you love me, then follow me. Where is he following him to? He's following him all the way to the cross, brothers and sisters. He gives clear indication as to the kind of death that he is going to die. But before he does that, before he lays down his life for him, he says to him, live for me. Yes, you deny me three times. I give you the opportunity to say that you love me three times because I forgive you. I forgave you before you did it. I was looking forward to this moment when we would have this encounter and I could set you about your mission and then I could prepare you for your coming home to me. But there's a lot between those two things. There's a lot that's going to happen even between this invitation to express his love for Jesus and the time that he will actually lay down his life for Jesus. I'll never forget in a moment of real closeness, intimacy with the Lord, excitement about my relationship with him in a personal time of prayer, I literally said, Lord, I'm just, I'm ready to come home. I want to be with you. I'm ready to die for you. And he said, how about living for me first? (laughs) You know, that, that is the thing. We have to live this life. It's, it involves some drudgery. It involves some difficulty. But in the meantime, we are to go out and we are to feed the sheep, to tend the lambs. That's our job, brothers and sisters. We are all called to do it. Peter had a significant position in his ministry, but we all share in the ministry of the baptized to go therefore and preach the gospel to all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Bring the truth to them that they might be fed and that they might be ready to come home as well. Maybe not in as dramatic a style as Peter was being called to, but we don't know that. We don't know that. In the meantime, what we are doing is we are busy about the work and we are answering that question that Jesus asked Peter and he asks every single one of us, do you love me? If you love me, then be about my work. Do you love me? Our words for today.